shall not be named seven times. Interesting ratio when you're the keynote speaker of the Republican National Convention. And we know that there are lots of other differences that will occur in, during our convention this week compared to the series of special interest funded, corporate infused, invitation only, smoke filled room type events that happened in my home state last week. Because we know tomorrow we'll open the Democratic National Convention for 2012 with a celebration of the Carolinas, a community festival that invites the Carolinas and all individuals in this region who want to be a part of re-electing re and re-nominating Barack Obama President of the United States to come join us. presidential nominating convention that any of us have ever seen. And we'll close out our week on Thursday with Barack Obama accepting our party's nomination for the second time at Bank of America Stadium in front of tens of thousands of Americans. We've had such a, a devil of a time making sure that all the people that want tickets to see this event, this historic event, can get them because the demand has been incredible, and we are so proud and so excited. I've been privileged to be chair of the DNC and to work with these three gentlemen for many, uh, for many months now, 16 months, and I'll tell you folks, when the President of the United States asks you to do anything, the answer is always yes. But I'm so proud that President Obama asked me to watch his back be his political voice, to help bring him across the finish line, and chair the Democratic National Committee. It's been an incredible trip there. Thank you so much. So, you know, the, the other interesting point, John, that I think it's important to, uh, to mention is that despite Governor Christie's best efforts, I have a hunch his candidate won't be winning your state. Thank you. 